Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, just catching everybody up on a few things that I've done recently. I've been to a few things. We got obviously Braves caravans going on right now. Uh, a couple of people have done some public signings, and there's been Braves se season ticket holder event that I've uh, that I went to. So I kind of go into what I've gotten recently. Uh, I wouldn't say maybe about two weeks ago. I guess two weeks ago today. I uh, went to a John Rocker signing and got this ball. It was $5 any item. And I really wanted it just for the simple fact of the conversation piece, I guess you could say. But uh came out pretty nice. Signed that. It's actually a really nice guy. I um, enjoyed talking to him for a few minutes. With that, I also got this picture. That he signed. It was his. So I can't really complain. So 8 by 10 um, But with that, it goes into Caravan. So, and I was going to set my phone up and just kind of do this the way I wanted to do it, but not going to happen. So, <coughs> Caravan first stop was Evan Gaddis. I got this 11 by 14 signed. This was the main one I wanted to do. I've been wanting to get this picture signed. I have it in 8x10, but I wanted it bigger. So this is 11 by 14 which came out flawless. Probably some of the, my pen worked really good that day. So I ended up getting that and got Anthony Barbaro on this 8x10. Which I think he's got probably the nicest autograph on the Braves. So I was really happy to get that. And then it was Frank Wren was also there. And Scott Fletcher, which I ended up passing on Scott Fletcher. So with that, I went into my second stop of the season ticket holder event. And, oh, I take that back. It was Alex Wood. I got Alex Wood to sign six cards. Signed five of those, I think. It was five. Yeah, and then one, and then, no, four of those, and then two Heritage. So, got some rookie cards finished. So then that went into the season ticket holder event, which had 28 rookie prospects and three active players. It was rumored that Pastor Nicky and Beachy was definitely going to be there, but nobody knew who the third person was. So you just went into it prepared for the, you know, prepared for anybody. So a good buddy of mine printed up these little sheets, say 2014 Braves prospects, eight by 10 and could basically just go around the table and just get every one of them to sign it. There's a couple little marks, like that one there, it's really bad. They they gave every player food and drink, which was on the table. So as you're trying to lay down your items, there's condensation building up from the from the drinks on the tables. You know, players' fingers are wet from picking up their cups. So it just wasn't a good you know, a good thing if you're trying to get autographs with that stuff on the table. So there's a couple, a couple little areas on that photo that screwed up. But I did get a chance to get some balls signed that I've been wanting to get. J.R. Graham, who I think will definitely be a starter at Gwinnett this year, may even make a trip to Atlanta. Lucas Sims, the same. I think he'll be at Gwinnett this year. Um, awesome signature. He even added. 2012 first round pick and then got Jason Hurst which he was a really nice guy um, and he even added 2013 first round so those are the baseballs I got that I wanted to pick up uh, and then that goes into some of the other things I got at that event so we knew it was Beachy so Beachy signed one card which I was fine with because he adjusted that landmark dodge 
and I wasn't really wasn't really hoping or really needing anything really other than just some cards. But Tyler Pasternak he signed three, so he signed a Bowman, and then Topps rookie, and then a Heritage, which he was really nice. He actually could not bowl because of his injury, so he was just hanging out, talking to fans, taking pictures, doing things. So he was really nice. And then I got these cards signed from Heritage, Gus Slosher. Got the Lucas Sims and J.R. Graham and then uh, Mauricio Cabrera, which he signed it in the darkest spot, but it is what it is. The other players that are in that minor league set for the Braves were not there. I think like Matt Lipka and a couple other players, uh, so I couldn't complete that set. So that kind of completed the prospects um, sheet and the other players that were there. Well, it happened to be that the other player that was there was BJ Upton. Now mind you, this is a season ticket holder event and they said the players will sign autographs but didn't set up a table or anything. But I was able to get two autographs. I got my Sports Illustrated started with the Uptons came out pretty good and then my friend was there and he didn't have anything for BJ Upton so he got finished my picture that I had got Frank Wren to sign so I got this 8x10 signed by BJ and Frank Wren now the story behind this is BJ comes in and he sits at the first lane and he's at the first lane and me and uh, my, my buddy were like, well, let's just go ask him for an autograph so we don't have to bother him anymore. So we sit in there, not doing anything. I go up to him, I say, hey, BJ, can you sign my Sports Illustrated? He looks right at me and he goes, no. And then my friend like kind of looked at me and I looked at him and I was just shocked. I was like, wow, maybe it's the Sports Illustrated. I don't know what the deal is. Everybody else is signing. Um, it's a season ticket holder event. So I'm like, Okay, so he calls over a Braves rep. So this woman comes over and he starts talking to her. Well, it's kind of loud in there. They got, you know, music playing, a lot of background noise. So he's talking a little bit loud and we're only like five, ten feet tops away from him. And he's like, I'm not here to sign autographs. You need to tell these people that I'm not signing. And we're just like taken back by like, wow, what a jerk. Like he can't spend 10 minutes to sign for like 75 people that were there. Out of all the season ticket holders, there was only like 75 people there, and not every one of them was wanting autographs. So I'm like, whatever. So I was kind of taken back by it. So I left. I just went down the line, and I got Pastor Nicky and Beachy, and I got a couple of the other minor leaguer players that were just hanging out, standing around. So I was like, okay. So I go back, and the only person I didn't get was BJ, and he's sitting there at lane one. And this lady, this couple, go up to him and they're like, oh, can we take a picture? And he takes a picture with them. And then the lady pulls out a baseball and she goes, and he, go, and he signs it. He wouldn't sweet spot it, but he did sign it. So I was like, oh, well, maybe if I go up and get a picture with him, maybe he'll sign the Sports Illustrated. So I get a picture with him. And uh, after the picture, he says, he goes, here, give me your SI. And I was like, oh, thanks. And he was like, and he kind of made a, a noise under his breath, like, you know, I get away from me type of thing. It was just really rude. He actually, Even in the picture that I took with him, he is not standing close to me. And he's got his hands in his pockets. He's frowning. It almost looks like he was forced to be there. And he was upset and he didn't want to be there. So I'm like, all right, fine, whatever. Thank you anyways. I was real nice to him. Wished him luck, whatever. My buddy was behind me. He got my picture signed. Everything's done. Well, another one of my friends uh, was trying to get a card set. He does sets. So he was like, here, I'm going to try to get a card signed. So we waited for him. Uh, he was bowling. We chose not to bowl. We could have bowled with him, but we chose not to. So it was about 30 minutes later, and the rep comes up to him and goes, hey, you're free to go. You've met your obligation. You can go. He literally 
turned around, kicked off the bowling shoes, left them there in the middle of the aisle, put his shoes on, which were just like little slip-ons, and bolted to the door. Or he had to go to the back to take it to turn his jersey in. So we're like, wow, like he just did not want to be here. So one of my friends was like, when he came out from the back, was like, BJ, could you sign a card? And he was like, no, I'm done. And like, not really, he speed walked to the door. We're like, fine, whatever. That's just the way he's going to be. He probably only signed about 20 autographs tops. Wooden sweet spot, sweet spot, anybody's baseballs. And just wasn't a nice person at all, which was very surprising because at a, an event like the Braves were hosting, you would have thought that they would have had some friendly players that would mingle with the fans. So, yes, I got two autographs. Yes, I'm happy because it finished two items or helped me start one item that I've been wanting to finish. But then again, it's like his attitude. I probably will not do another Braves or do another BJ Upton autograph again. Um, I really don't care about the cards. If even if he does sign, I'm not doing a baseball. I already have one from last year's Caravan. Won't do a bat. Won't do another picture. And I probably won't wait in five plus hours at a Caravan next year if he does one for him. Um, at least that's how I feel now. So, but anyways, that's pretty much the story and pretty much the catch up on things I've done. I'm waiting to do Kennesaw Caravan, which has J.A. and Freeman, but that one's going to be a little goofy because of this new photograph line that they're wanting to do, so I'm not sure how that one's going to be. And I'm undecided if I'm going to go to Hiram for Craig Kimbrough or not. But either way, that's pretty much it. Um, quick little story. Comment if you guys have any questions about it or whatever, and I'll try to explain. But other than that, you guys have a good night.